Welcome to the Spy Collection. Here is Anastasius and today we'll have a look at this. The UME24 from the Israeli company Celebrite. We also created a playlist linked in the description if you'd like to watch all our videos of Celebrite devices. In our previous videos, we talked about the history of the Israeli company Celebrite that specializes in digital intelligence collection products, demonstrated how those devices work, and presented the UME36 Pro as well as the predecessor of this one, the UME12. In summary, Celebrite developed and produced those devices to provide an easy means for non-technical people to extract all the information stored in mobile devices and store them in another media that they can use for anything, from cloning a device by transferring that data to performing digital forensics or doing data exploitation for intelligence purposes. The source device is connected here and the target device here. If you'd like to understand all the details around that, you can watch our previous videos. Now this specific one, the UME24, was an upgrade of Celebrite's first such device, the UME12 from 1999. From 2004 and until 2007, Celebrite was selling this, the UME24. Clearly, it used older technology than the UME36, but overall the user interface was very similar. Now some obvious additions compared to the previous model, the UME12, are the USB port for the source and target devices, the infrared interface, since at the time more and more mobile devices had infrared features, and the smart card and SIM card reader here. Apart from those, the operation was exactly the same as its predecessor, the UME12. You connect the device you want to extract data from on the source, and your destination device or storage system on the target port. Then you use the interface here with those keys to navigate and execute the operation. Let's open it up to have a closer look. So here is the card reader, the infrared unit, which were two of the new features of the UME24. It kept some common design patterns from the previous model, but most of its board is entirely new. For example, the three Philips microcontrollers were replaced by a single Philips P89C669FA, which is an 80C51 8-bit microcontroller with extended memory. From this sticker here, we can also speculate that there were at least two other variants of this, since this is marked as UME24 Charlie. In terms of similarities with the UME12, we have the same static RAM chip, as well as the same Altera Max CPLD, but slightly newer models. Of course, the newly added USB connectors with their controllers. And on the other side, we have the keypad and the LCD screen manufactured by the Chinese Intec, which also gives us an indication of when this was manufactured. It's stamped with June 18th, 2005. And in the quality check sticker, we see the date of October 8th or 9th of 2005. Assuming that the UME24 was manufactured from 2004 and until 2007, it's very likely that this was indeed from 2005. That might also explain the UME24 Charlie, since it's reasonable to assume that there would be some revisions to improve limitations of the earlier models. And that's the keypad, of course. Ok, let's assemble that back. UME24 was still not widely adopted by law enforcement and spy agencies across the world, but that was about to change with its newer model, the UME36 that we already presented. Nevertheless, it's an important part of the history of Celex that we had to cover for the sake of completeness. And that was our artifact for this episode, the Israeli UME24, one of the earliest devices 
for digital intelligence collection from the early 2000s, which allowed intelligence professionals and digital forensics experts to trivially extract data from devices, while most people didn't even know that this was possible. Another instance of how nothing is as it seems. Thank you.